This RefWorks training session will show how to edit citation styles. When using RefWorks or one of its writing tool add-ons to create citations or a bibliography, you can choose from thousands of citation styles, as needed for the publication or the class for which you are writing. If the citation style you need is not on the list of most recent styles, use the search box to find it. However, if you can't find the citation style you need, or if you need to create a new style, for example, if you are an administrator creating an institutional style, you can do that in the Citation Style Editor. In the Create Bibliography menu, select Citation Style Editor. This is an easy to use, built in editor. You don't need any programming skills to use it. We are currently looking at all styles. The citation styles are listed alphabetically. Some styles will be labeled institutional, which means a RefWorks administrator at your institution has created that style and published it here for you to use. Some styles will be labeled CSL, which means they are part of the open source citation style language project. We'll look at editing those in a few minutes. If a style doesn't have either of these labels, then it's a style that comes out of the box with RefWorks. Let's say you want to create a modified version of this style. After you select the style, the editor opens, and you can see all the style details. Click Options and select Duplicate. Name the style and click Create Duplicate. This page has six main areas. In the upper left is the style format, bibliography, citations, and footnotes. Click to switch to the other formats. In parentheses is the number of reference types in that format. Here in the bibliography format, this style has nine reference types, such as generic, book, and so on. Below that is a language group, where you can add an alternative language group. At the top of the editor page is an example reference using the current format, reference type, and language. Next is a list of metadata fields included in the reference type. Finally, the lower section is a formatting pane for the reference and for each of its fields. Start by picking a format and reference type to edit. If you need to add a reference type, click the plus symbol here. If you need to delete a reference type, click the trash can. You can rearrange the order of fields in a reference just by dragging and dropping them in a new location. You can also add fields by clicking the plus symbol, searching for a field, and even creating some text to add to the reference display. You can delete a field by clicking on it and then clicking the X in the corner. Notice when we clicked on a field, the formatting pane for that field opened up. Now you can see the elements that can be changed in this field, such as whether the field is included for print references, electronic references, or both, whether text, such as punctuation, appears right before or after the text in the field, and much more. Scroll down to see all the elements. Then you can move on to the next field and make changes there. Changes are saved for one reference type at a time, so be sure to switch to other reference types if they require changes too. When you're done with all the reference types, switch to the citation format to edit how in-text citations will look. Again, you'll be able to add different reference types to the citation settings. And finally, if the style uses footnote settings, you can create and edit those too. When you're all done, make sure to click Save. If you're an administrator creating an institutional style, you can share it with your institution. Your style will appear in the citation style list, along with the subheading Mine. On the left side, if you choose My Custom Styles, you'll see this style and any others you've created. You can always go back later to edit the style if needed. Besides modifying an existing style, you can also create your own new style. Click New Style and choose to start with settings from an existing style. After you name the style and click Create, you're taken to the same citation style editor we used before. By the way, if you need to delete a style, that function is found on the Options menu. Finally, you can edit a CSL style. After selecting the style, a page opens showing you an example reference in that citation style. Click here to go to the Citation Style Visual Editor. This site is outside of RefWorks and is part of the Open Source Citation Style Language Project. Follow the on-screen instructions for using this tool. One thing to know about CSL styles, 
If you create or modify styles here, they will automatically be available in RefWorks within a day. With a customized citation style in RefWorks, you'll be able to use it anytime you need to, whether writing a paper, creating a bibliography, or for any other use. And that's how you can use the editor to create and modify citation styles in RefWorks.